time for those most famous words in motorsports. Here to give the command, please welcome your Grand Marshal, star of the Nitro Circus franchise, multi-time X Games gold medalist, Supercross and Motocross champion, and four-time Rally America champion, Travis Pastrana. Gentlemen, stop! Big time. That's Martin. always a little slick over there. Off two. Martin Truex Jr. will lead the first lap from the pole. And really, Mike, that's what he needs to do. He needs to lead some laps because he hasn't led any laps much this year at all. Greg Biffle right with him. A little bit of a gap to Casey Kane in third. Then Ambrose and Kenson as they settle in single file back to about 12th place. I believe that guy running second, Larry. That's going to be somebody that's really, really up on the wheel tonight, and it's going to take this thing and try to get it by the horns and wrestle it to the ground. Yeah, we know how bad Greg Biffle in that 16 wants to get the victory lane. It's been well over a year. Two and three wide, deep in the field. Bobby Labonte got caught up high as Regan Smith in the 78. Threads the needle following Jeff Gordon up through. And the 14 of defending Sprint Cup champ Tony Stewart who wrecked in practice but prior to qualifying so no penalty for riding out the backup car because it happened before they qualify. You know Mike, Tony's just like his hero, A.J. Foyt. Make it hard. Let me, let me make it hard so I can have fun making this up. Carl Edwards passing David Reagan. Reagan, a former pole sitter here and of course Carl knows the way to victory lane in Texas very well. Darrell, it just appears in the early stages of this race that not a lot of drivers are venturing off the bottom of the racetrack. I think it'll take a few laps before we start working that second groove in. Yeah, they, they got to kind of dust it off. They'll just inch up a little bit, get that bottom working, then they'll start moving up every, a car or two. Well, the first thing you know, somebody will start making a lot of good lap times, and everybody will go to the top. Single file back through 17 positions. Michael? You know, Darrell, I talked to a couple of the drivers down in the garage area, and they say this tire isn't conducive to running that high line like we've seen in the past. Oh, sure, you can go up there and make time, but it seems like they like being on the bottom better this time around. That'll be interesting to follow. We're used to see them scrubbing that wall up high. As Casey Kane will be one of the first guys up there, he ventured halfway up there that turn. Yeah, I, I think what we'll see is the tires wear, and the, the bottom kind of gives up. It gets harder and harder to run down there. You just automatically slip up the hill whether you want to or not. Lapping past Reed Soren. With 152 laps to go. Johnson coming up on Regan Smith. Well, a lot of folks thought, thought tonight would be a Ford free for all. But here we are with 150 to go with Kenseth in third, Biffle in fifth, and Ambrose in ninth. Edwards mired back in 18th. And, and my, Larry, here's a perfect example of what happens to you when you have trouble in the pits. Get behind and you just can't bust out of that bubble and uh, make it back up to the top, to, back up to the front. Here's Montoya on pit road in front of Steve. Cliff Boyer is going to be on pit road as well. You're looking for the windshield of his car. He has been fast, and he has also been trying to hang on to a car that hasn't handled very well this evening. Matt. And the one car McMurray is in. The car too free on exit, too tight across the center. Adjustment he's already away. Krista. Just absolutely too edgy on exit and way too tight across the center. Just cannot get it to turn. Significant air pressure change for the 
in fifth. The big thing that Greg Biffle wants to see is the white flag. He wants One to see that time. white flag because when he sees the white flag, we know we've got to race then. Yeah, because he's got to, everybody's got to hold their position one more time by and you get the white flag next time. Kyle Busch has won that battle with Denny Hamlin as they fought for 12th place, the last two cars on the lead lap. And now that they're single file, perhaps Biffle will work his way past them. He has 3.2 seconds in the bank on yeah. Jimmy Johnson. No need, to, no need to push. Just ride. White flag. One to go. It's a race. White flag right there. White flag. Final lap. 49 races since Greg Biffle's last win. It came in Kansas in the fall of 2010. I think Marcus Ambrose out of gas down the back. Oh. Down low, not at speed, is Ambrose, but he's going to make it around. And here comes Bill to become the sixth different winner of 2012. Greg Biffle wins the Samsung Mobile 500. Jimmy Johnson comes home second, 3.2 seconds back. Mark Martin, 